Hi, this video uses the ARC2600 synthesizer as a platform for demonstrating this filter, the AM2140 EMU resonant filter from Analog Metropolis. Uh, I built this filter from a PC board and this panel from SynthCube. It's part of this synthesizers.com system uh, that features the 3340 VCO from Electrosmith. But we won't be hearing any of that. We'll just be hearing this filter uh, and it's going to be patched in like this. Uh, we've got a sawtooth going directly into uh, the VCA and then the output of the VCA goes into the AM2140. Output comes back into this mixer so that we can, let's see, let's listen to that, and we can either listen to the output of the filter or the output of the amplifier. Um, in addition to the audio processing, uh, I'm using the envelope generator um, as well as VCO2 in low frequency mode to provide um, control over the filter. For instance, let me get this started. What you're listening to now is the combination of the high pass and band pass filters, uh, excuse me, high pass and low pass filters creating effectively a notch filter and it gives kind of a, a phasing sound to the sawtooth. We're just listening to a single sawtooth here. So let's take out that low pass and the envelope as well, and we'll stop the sequence and close the filter, excuse me, the amplifier. Um, the next thing I want to show is uh, the features of the filter itself. We have a manual um, frequency. We're only listening to the low pass output right now. We have uh, resonance, and we have high pass, low pass, and band pass outputs that are all mixed into the final output. So right now we've got high pass off, band pass off, and we're listening only to the low pass. on this filter. Um, EMU produced some of the most sophisticated modular systems available in the 70s. Dave Rosam was impressed by the specifications of the ARC 2500 multi-mode filter from, by Dennis Collin. The ARC uh, 1047, which was the first multi-mode filter available in the modular world, uh, as multi-mode is synonymous with state variable filter. Um, Rossum actually improved on the specifications of the filter in his universal active filter sub-module. The filter sub-module was used in both the universal active filter module uh, that was a complete filter with input mixer frequency control mixer and four separate outputs, low pass, high pass, band pass, and notch. Another filter that used this um, universal active filter sub-module was the EMU resonant filter, which also used the sub-module. 
it had only manual control of the frequency and resonance uh, similar to what we've got here but it had this output mixer which is what we've got here for the low pass high pass band pass uh, this filter combines the best of both of those worlds in that uh, not only have you got this output mixer, um, but you've got control over the resonance or the Q from, uh, from a control voltage, and you've got two uh, CV inputs for the frequency. So that's a little background on this filter. Um, it's kind of a legendary filter. It's 12 dB per octave. Let's go through and listen to some of the different resonances. So you have to turn down the input to avoid overloading the filter. One thing nice about it is you can uh, crank the resonance all the way up. And let's cut this off. You can crank the re resonance all the way up and it will not self oscillate. That's one of the really special things about this filter. You can even amp it up a little bit more with the bandpass output. So let's crank down the resonance and let's go to the high pass filter. And add some voltage control. And some Q. output for a little air. If we unplug that, we'll get the filter output. And we can combine these two filters and get 
some of the subtleties that you might get with a, another system that used a low-pass filter and a state variable or multi-mode filter. Um, in this case, what I want to do, I want to use this filter as just a, a resonator. I want to emphasize um, some frequencies. And let's mix in character to your sound. I did another video on uh, the dual resonators from the Swiss Daisy DSP on this technique. Um, but it really makes a great addition to any modular or semi-modular system. So that's it. The AM2140 uh, EMU resonant filter from Analog Metropolis and it, both the panel in .com format and the um, PCB are available for purchase from uh, synthcube.com. Synthcube. And that's the video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.